Getting a clearer picture? You had an agent on the inside, and 47 killed him? We've got it on videotape. The incident put us back on 47's tail, which eventually led to his destruction. You actually caught him? We didn't just catch your urban legend. We killed him. I assume you can prove this. I intend to give you incontrovertible evidence. But how? There was a bit player for the mob in a certain witness protection program. He was protected 24-7 by some of the most dedicated professionals we had. 47 came for him anyway. And you killed him? Bring out the car. Wait a second, Jack. Come on. You can't just leave me hanging. Bring the folder. We'll talk on the way. The way where? To your proof. Sending you down to the other end of the state, 47. The target's a gangster by the name of Vinny Sinistra. He's in a witness protection program pending a court appearance later this month. Our client wants to be sure Sinistra doesn't make it to the witness box. Sinistra's also got some hard evidence that can't be allowed to see the light of day. Our client thinks it may be on a bit of microfilm. Ensure that you retrieve it. Sinistra is extremely unstable and hasn't taken well to suburban life. They're having a birthday party for the youngest child on Sunday, and this may give you the angle you need to get in. The house is being monitored and protected by the feds, so extreme discretion is required. Tread lightly, 47. Bonsoir, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to what is arguably the best mission in this game, if not the best mission in any Hitman game ever. Ever, 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 ever. That is a new life. Game set in a rather affluent, an opulent, if you will, suburban neighborhood. This setting consequently make contributes, there we go, contributes to why this mission is so good. That being because the setting is so, apart from the fact that it's rich people, it's so average, so everyday. It's just a birthday party. Well, the preparations for a birthday party for a child in a neighborhood full of normal people and here I am engaging in my clandestine activities and if you can hear a banging noise in the background that is my cat kicking herself in the face I have a large kitty cat on my lap right now now I'm just gonna pause this and explain because of this mission because of the way it is I decided I'm going to do something silly I'm going to play the entire mission in the clown outfit and I'm going to forego my desire for the Silent Assassin ranking. I'm not going to go kill crazy, but there will be some deaths. With a knife. While in the clown outfit. Because it's fun that way. I will, however, still detail how to get Silent Assassin. I actually have a strategy that I've guaranteed works to get Silent Assassin only using the clown outfit. I will begin preparation as normal, but I shall deviate and go on to my more brutal tactics for this run. So, oh yeah, there are two FBI guys in here. They survey the area. There are two cameras in the area. You can steal the videotape for said cameras. Now, we need to get behind there. I'm just gonna save, just in case I fuck up. Yes, I'm saving that early, good lord. There, this is a veterinarian's place. There are tranquilizer darts, but more importantly, there is ether. I actually don't know what ether is, but we'll be using it to knock a guy out, incapacitating him for the whole mission. So I'm assuming it's some kind of anesthetic. Now, this woman is the bane of my existence. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. There we go. She is the bane of my existence. Just, oh, her. I may come back and kill her. I'll take the trank darts anyway, because screw it. There's a treehouse in this mission. The kid who uses it has an air rifle. There she is. Whoa, look at her. Walking up. Damn her. But it doesn't really matter now. Like I said, it doesn't... I'm not going for Silent Assassin. It doesn't affect your witness thing. And no, she didn't notice anyway. Well, fair enough. Now, check the map. 
That's the clown. He'll be coming on through. Coming over here to... I think he comes over here to cry, as it happens. We'll be knocking him out, and you can hide him in the back of the van. Now, while we're waiting for him to come around, I'll just show off more of the level. Over there is a camera. Around the other side is also a camera. There is also a guard dog. Hence the air rifle and the tranks. So you can use it to shoot the dog, which is around here, thus getting you into the basement, I believe. I don't normally go into the mission that way. There's also some donuts over here. You can use that container to transport weapons inside the house if you happen to be stealing that guy's outfit. There he is. But the donuts, you can sedate and leave outside. There's a contextual action. You walk up and you put down the donuts. 47 will knock at the door, garnering the intention of said FBI dudes. I don't know why I'm saving again. I've never had this screw up on me, but you never know. I'm being cautious. This is like my fourth or so attempt to record this mission. The other two times, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. You know how it is. And as usual... Oh, remember how I said this has never screwed up before? Yeah. Her. Her. Bane of my existence. Now, you can use the Bin Man outfit in order to get around the sides of all the houses without being, a, uh, Without garnering any attention, which is always nice. It just so happens the Bin Truck is a place where you can hide and pretty much an infinite amount of bodies. Make sure I have no weapons on me. No, I don't. Perfect. Anyway, you got an infinite number of bodies in there. However, if you do that, they will die, for the obvious reason. My cat just sneezed. Now, oh, there's also a phone in here. You can call the witness who's in there, make him come to the window, get a sniper rifle, and blast him away. And messing with this will cause that FBI guy who guards him to come outside and fix it. Now that we've gotten all that outside crap out of the way, let's mosey on with the slaughter. Afraid we'll have to search you, sir. You'll step this way? Of course, of course. I have absolutely nothing to hide. Thanks. You're all set. Indeed. Seems that the witness protection FBI guys don't mind bringing in high explosives, poisons, sedatives, or any of that kind of nonsense there. They're just fine. Now you have to watch out for him. He'll come walking in here. What you can do is, because we have to get the wife, she has the microfilm. In this room, I believe it is. Yes, yes, it's this one. There is some alcohol. You can sedate that. Go up to the wife. Depending on what outfit you're wearing, she will take you away to a different room in the house to fornicate with you. She never actually does, but oh well. I'm just gonna take this for my own personal amusement. As I was saying, fornication. She'll take you away for that, because why the hell not? The clown outfit gets you into that room that I mentioned. Sedate it, she'll drink the alcohol, and summarily fall unconscious. The pool boy outfit also gets you somewhere. Unfortunately, I don't actually remember where. If you come to her in an FBI outfit, She'll take you upstairs. I could use a good laugh, and then some. Yes. Follow me. Well, I am a funny guy, as you shall soon see. <laughs> Nobody suspects the clown. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, they usually do. Clowns are creepy, right? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Well, actually, I, I'm not scared of clowns. I don't really care about clowns. I have no purse. I have no, um... Oh, God. Discrimination. Discriminatory... Proclivities towards clowns. There we go. Managed to pull that right out of my arse there. I keep forgetting words. You know me. I start putting on... I hit record. The words just go flying out of my head before Keep I can grab them. Off the clown. I just love the idea she's taking the birthday party clown away for uh, some frisky business. Just the clown of all people. But as I was saying, the FBI outfit gets you upstairs. She'll just fall unconscious on the bed and you can just take... A necklace off of her, which is great. Oh, the FBI guy is there. What are you looking at? I swear you never saw a clown before. With my red afro. What are you looking at? I think he's so much better than me, just because the FBI gets paid more. Well, you know what? Fuck him. I'm just as good as he is. I'm, make I'm making an honest living. You no, know, as a clown. You know, I entertain children. What does he do? Cunt. Anyway. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> she fell funny. Unfortunately, she doesn't stay like that, because I believe I mentioned this before. The bodies in this game have this strange habit of going into a crucifix shape. I never really understood that. But anyway, make sure the FBI guy's not there. We don't want him seeing the body. 
Not that I really care, I suppose. Speaking of which, I'll be explaining this too, because again, you got to be careful in this mission. Because, of course, if you have a body get found, then that, of course, removes your Silent Assassin ranking. Now, what I'm about to do now also goes into place with my normal Silent Assassin strategy. If I were going Silent Assassin, I would, of course, like I said, done the sedation. So, so far, nothing really too different from my normal Silent Assassin strategy. Gotta be careful with him, I'm actually gonna save the game. The guy outside can see you, which is a bit of a pain. You'll still get Silent Assassin, provided, you know, he doesn't... Provided you don't mess with him or screw with him or anything, but even so, actually... Uh, yeah, wait for him to come down. I don't think he'll be able to see you from here because this is in the way. Okay, he's turned around, go inside. Good man. Now, when you climb inside here, there's a squeaky toy in front of the window. The guard who patrols this hallway will always come here. My throat is beginning to clench up. He will always come in here. Always, which is fine. Because it gives you ample time to get here. Now, this particular guard has certain tendencies. He sniffs the daughter's panties, the sick fuck. You pour an ether on, I'm just gonna do that anyway, I guess, I don't really know why. I'm gonna be cutting his throat anyway, so bog him. But, <clears throat> like I said, you can pour the ether on the panties. Thus, spelling his temporary doom. Well, not doom, doom is the wrong word, because he's not dying. It was temporary neutralization. There we go, that's much better. I'm gonna come in and slash his throat, because why the hell not? And unlike Hitman Absolution and so many other games, what I like about this one is you actually have to get up behind someone, prepare. You see, you prepare with a knife. Hitman goes into a certain stance, and you know you're ready to perform the takedown. What I really hate is that whole press F to takedown nonsense, or Hitman Absolution, press Q. Q is a weird button. But anyway, I'm gonna save. I wanna make sure I get this right. I wanna get the execution. I'm saving a lot, I don't know why. I don't wanna fuck up. I still wanna remain stealthy, you know. Okay. Let's see, will he, uh. Yeah, he's just so taken aback. And. Ah, crap. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, take it, you bitch, you filthy pedo. I'm assuming that he's a pedophile. I mean, come on, look at this room. What legal teenager has a room like this? At least I assume that American affluent teenager, teenage girls, you know, who are above the legal sexual age wouldn't have a room like this, I would hope anyway. Bit immature. Now, where is your fella? While we're waiting for him, this is the perfect opportunity to explain what I would be doing now were I going Silent Assassin. What I would do is, I take his gun, that's actually very important. Ah, crap, I just pushed my in-ear headphone in too far. Bleh. That felt unpleasant. Oh, God damn it. Okay, there we go. Drop this anyway, I don't want to accidentally blow my load and fire. What happened is, oh, he's coming up now. He'll go in there. The guard will stand here with his back turned. I would do either one of the following. I would, I'm actually gonna just, to explain, I would either knock out the target, drag him, I'd actually drag him past here into this room, because he, after a few seconds, will go in there to investigate. So it's very important that the body isn't there. And while he's knocked out, I would actually grab him as a human shield, grab the target as a human shield. Cat, cat, stop messing, stop messing. There we go. Oh shit, it's not paused. Ah! I got him as a human shield, past the guard, in here, and you can poison an unconscious person, just aim at them with the poison equipped, and you will poison them. Or I would grab the guard as a hostage and bring him in here, and then just take out Vinny while he's by himself. Either way is good. Now, I'm actually going to... What am I going to do? Gonna, oh yeah, I love that animation. Because, I don't know, I'm, I'm sick like that. Stop! Help! Help! Oh, oh. oh, he fired. Ah! That's unfortunate. Quick, run! I'm not gonna reload. Screw it. I'm happy enough with that. Call in the extra guards all you want, good sir. It won't make a difference. Your target, your client, not your target, my target, 
Your client, the one you're meant to protect, is already dead. Now drop the knife. Okay. <laughs> All the blue there just looked weird for a second. I was just like, hang on, I didn't kill that many people, did I? It's like, no, no, it's just the one. Wait, hang on. Where'd the red go? He's alive? Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, now, while we wait for them to come back up, I'd just like to discuss the whole Far Cry melee thing that I was mentioning earlier with the F to take down. The problem I perceive with that is it lacks any kind of real impact, right? It just feels like a, like a quick time event, a little contextual quick time event. Press F to kill this guy. It's like I'm not really doing anything, and shut up, cat. I don't, I don't have to take anything into consideration, my location, the weapon I'm using, how anything works. It's just basically a quick time event. Whereas in Far Cry 2, you actually had to take out the machete. You had to position yourself, you had to wait for your character to lift his arm up, kind of like this. At which point you then did the slash. Now unfortunately, this wasn't particularly good either. The reason it wasn't particularly good was because you didn't actually kill the target, you just maimed them. And they would cry out, which was really stupid. What I do with it? And... Oh. Ah! No! No! Ah. Oh well. Bollock it anyway! Still works. I'm just for my own personal amusement. <laughs> uh, anyway, as I was saying. Oh wow, that's a lot of blood. Holy shit. Nobody knows. Nobody knows it was the clown. The clown has come here to teach you all a very important lesson. That you can't spell slaughter without laughter. That sounded demented, didn't it? <laughs> oh well. Never mind, never mind. I'm kind of sad I didn't strangle him, because then I could have made the joke. Made the Batman Arkham Asylum Joker reference. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Just a moment. <laughs> ah, worth it. Alright, well that's enough of that tomfoolery. Allow us to finally finish the mission. Nobody knows. I was mentioning the Arkham Asylum reference earlier, wasn't I? Yes. Yeah, I could have strangled him and then said, The choke's on you. <laughs> you have to insert the really overly high-pitched weird laugh, too. It's very important. You can't have the clown facade without it. The hell was that noise? Bloody cats. Anyway. This is what happens when you own five cats. It's, it's not very good. Four kills. No witnesses. Yeah, no witnesses. No covers blown. Nobody suspects the clown. No. Stalker. Huh. Yeah, there was a lot of violence, wasn't there? You know, I was a slasher. I'm a slasher of prices. Got to love out of context references. Oh, yeah. Stalker kills again. See, the newspapers kind of ruin the continuity and, um, well, the whole, for, we don't know about 47, 47 is an urban myth kind of thing, blah, blah, blah. They kind of call it question all of that because how do they know that I'm the same guy who did all the previous killings? How do they know? It's a little strange. Unless there just so happened to be a clown killer before who was in this suburb, which I doubt. But anyway, let's see. Three additional deaths, blah, blah, blah. The killer will be found. The Bureau can find anyone, and this time we will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Innocent bystander, yeah, that was his wife. Kitchen knife. All of the victims were found dead in mysterious circumstances. Yeah, having your jugulars ripped open is pretty, uh, pretty mysterious, isn't it? I wonder what could have caused that. Mm -hmm. Lack of witnesses, blah blah blah, and it's all good, I'm happy with that. And I explained how to get Silent Assassin, I think, unless I missed any details. Which I don't believe I did. The cat is slapping me with her tail, I really wish she'd stop that. And, yeah, so. Hope y'all enjoyed my little distraction, my indulgence in murder. <laughs> And we'll be back to normal, trying and no doubt failing to get Silent Assassin in Murder of Crows next time. So, au revoir.
I want you to know something. You can't spell slaughter without laughter! Damn it, I missed! Fuck! 